New photographs of the Duchess of Cambridge have been released to mark Armed Forces Day. The images of Kate Middleton were taken in November last year when she visited Purbright Training Academy. While there, Kate spent time with the 101 Operational Sustainment Brigade at Abingdon Airfield to see how new recruits and serving personnel are trained. Kate also took part in some of the training exercises and spent time speaking to personnel about their experiences in the British Army. In the newly released photos, Kate can be seen smiling as she's put to the test through a number of training exercises. She can be seen sitting in a tank as well as getting stuck in and lending a hand to help repair some machinery. She plans to also visit the Royal Navy and Royal Air Force in the future. In a tweet from the official Duke and Duchess of Cambridge account, Kate said, Today on Hashtag Armed Forces Day, William and First would like to pay tribute to the brave men and women, past present, serving in all of our armed forces, at sea, on land in the air, here in the UK, and around the world. Thank you for all you and your family's sacrifice to keep us safe. Last year, I was honored to spend time with the at British Army to see how they train serving personnel and new recruits. It was wonderful to see firsthand the many important and varied roles the military play day in, day out to protect us all and I look forward to discovering more about the at Royal Navy at Royal Air Force in due course. Armed Forces Day is a chance to show support for the men and women who make up the armed forces community from currently serving troops to service families, veterans and cadets. Armed Forces Day takes place on the last Saturday each June. Celebrations began on June 20, with the Armed Forces Day flag raised on buildings and famous landmarks around the country. Prime Minister Boris Johnson voiced his appreciation for service personnel across the UK. Our armed forces are without doubt the best, most respected and most loved armed forces in the world, said Mr Johnson. You are hugely admired by the people of this country, who cheered you most recently at the Jubilee celebrations, because they are so proud of everything you do to keep us safe. You are hugely admired by the people of this country, who cheered you most recently at the Jubilee celebrations, because they are so proud of everything you do to keep us safe. You are there for us and our country when we need you, whether you are watching the skies, patrolling the seas or standing over our interests. Thank you to everyone in the vast military family. Thank you to our incredible veterans. And thank you to the family and friends whose support is so crucial to ensuring that we have the best fighting force anywhere in the world. The Chief of the General Staff also paid tribute, adding, from all the hash British Army, on hashtag Armed Forces Day, I want to say thank you to the military families, communities, veterans organizations, businesses and charities that support our people. You are vital to the fighting spirit and well-being of our army. We couldn't do it without you. Earlier this week, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge made a surprise appearance to unveil a newly commissioned dazzling royal portrait. It was the first of themselves together as a couple. Prince William and Kate arrived at the 200-year-old Fitzwilliam Museum on Thursday to unveil the painting by award-winning portrait artist Jamie Corrath. 
In the breathtaking artwork, William is depicted in a black suit with a white shirt and blue tie while Kate wears the emerald green vampire's wife gown she wore while on a visit to Ireland in 2020.